Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And we actually got a date, an official confirmed date from T-Mobile when they host their earnings call. So some changes here happening. So I've been tracking T-Mobile's earnings calls now for years. They usually report the first quarter earnings around the first week of May. They've actually pushed it up. So now they're going to report on April 27th. So they're still reporting within the month of April. Also, another change, they usually report in the afternoon. They usually do it at about, I think, 4.30 Eastern, which is about 2.30 my time. And they've kind of been consistent with that. They've done it in the afternoons. Now they're going to do it in the mornings. It's going to be at 8 a.m. Eastern. So 6 a.m. my time is when they're going to report these quarterly earnings. Now, I've already had several people tell me, Throughout the day, I've been busy, but they've been telling me that they think this is also an indication that T-Mobile is going to have a monster quarter. More, you know, more confidence, like pushing up the date, the time. They're going to have a blowout quarter. So there's there's an analyst out there that's heard from another analyst that even Verizon is saying that T-Mobile is going to have a blowout monster quarter. So most of the estimates now settle in around for for fixed wireless access around 225 to 250,000 home broadband ads. That's separate. And then most of the estimates now settle in for postpaid phone ads between 550 to 590,000. So they're going to have they're going to add that plus the uh the home broadband ads which which essentially is a postpaid line. So it's going to get them close to the to the million. Now there is potential. There is a there are a few analysts out there that think T-Mobile may have done three hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand on the home broadband side because of the uh, there is data right now out there floating around of how many times that T-Mobile app the T-Mobile Home Internet app has been downloaded since last year. So they finished the year at 646,000, but now they're looking at that number plus the additional times that app has, has been downloaded. And apparently it's giving everyone a pretty good estimate as to how many they've added. So anywhere between 250 to 400,000 T-Mobile could have potentially added that many customers on fixed wireless access. So again, those are insane numbers. That means the ARPA is going to grow, not so much the ARPU, maybe the ARPU too, because they might have had step ups to the Magenta Max over the quarter. But the ARPA is for sure set to grow with that amount of home broadband ads. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. It's kind of been, you know, pretty good for the for T-Mobile in the media recently. There's been some negative stuff about them going to court and stuff like that. But it looks like they're trying to line up all the ducks in a row to have a good quarter, you know, finish out Q1 strong um, or finish Q1 strong with, with the reporting the numbers for Q1 and then have a great Q2. And then we'll see what, it, what they do the rest of this year. Everything else with T-Mobile is pretty much straightforward. Sprint keep sites, expand the network. The rural footprint is growing. That's what the home broadband is showing. 33% of new ads from the whole broadband came in rural. So this is pretty big for T-Mobile. And we'll see the outcome on April 27th. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Like, share, subscribe. Follow my social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.